Austin Springs, a family devastated by the December 10th tornado, gets to enjoy their first night under a permanent roof. Freddie Williams was there tonight as Governor Andy Bashir and the many folks who helped them dedicate their brand new house. So Zach Russell and Eliza Watts lost a lot when that December tornado wiped out most of Dawson Springs. They have two kids and plenty of pets to take care of, but they first turned to helping others. Ultimately, that's why they're now sitting on more stable ground. Like so many others, Eliza Watts' family hid in a storm shelter almost two years ago. Like so many others, coming out was a nightmare. Zach come out and was like, you just need to sit down. And that's when I went into kind of a panic survival mode. My dogs was everywhere. Their home was gone. They moved into a camper and they used wreckage from their home to build a kennel for their dogs. We built that before we built us anything just because they're a family too. She also took a job taking care of cattle. One day as she was working, a man from Fuller Disaster Rebuilders walked up and asked to buy hay from her. As she helped him, they realized she needed help of her own. Went from there. We started talking about, you know, how we fared with the tornado and everything else. And he's like, I'm going to build you a house. Now she and her kids get to say something they haven't said in a long time. This is our house. It fell into place. It was God's way of saying, hey, I'm here to help. She says being able to call this place home is a crucial step for them. I feel like we can actually be a, a family, you know, not here, there, and everywhere. We can be in our home, our house, and be our family. She says it's given her hope for the rest of the community that still needs help. But for tonight, she's looking forward to a home-cooked meal. Now, in the course of the dedication ceremony, there was some other news. Judge Executive Jack, Whit Jack Whitfield presented a proclamation that today is Billy Wells Day. This is Billy Wells. He was wearing a different John Deere hat today. He's a man who's been coordinating a ton of relief efforts in Barnsley. He was honored tonight for his nearly nonstop work over the last two years. We've spoken with him in the past and worked with him many times since then. We have a link that you can read more about him and his great work on this story on 14news.com.